Shortcut version 24.08.29 has a new feature that allows you to add subtitles to your video in Shortcut itself. But what does it mean and how do you make use of it? If you're new to my channel, my name is James and I make videos about video creating software and tools. And I'm going to show you how to go about using this new subtitle feature in the shortcut and also how you can make this process so much faster automatically using AI later part of that video. So stay tuned and let's dive in. I've assembled the video and right at the top menu, you notice that there is now a subtitle menu. If you click on it, it will open up a new window on the left here. So you can see there are various tools right at the bottom over here. And if you want to add a subtitle, all you need to do is to click on this plus sign, which is an add subtitle track. Click on it, uh, a new window pops up so you can name your subtitle track. I'm just going to leave it as it is, but you can select different languages. So your subtitle can be in different language as well. So click on OK and you will have a subtitle uh, track open up over here. Now to add subtitle, what you do is to go to this menu at the bottom add a subtitle at the cursor position. So be careful of where your cursor is. So right now my cursor is at the beginning end. So let's just click on home and make it right at the beginning. And let's click add the subtitle. Now I'm just going to type in some random text. And once you're alright, hit enter and you'll notice that this subtitle is created at the block over here. Okay, so if you want to create your next one, you can just move down and click on the next plus time to create your next subtitle block. And so on and so forth. You can move and adjust your subtitle by selecting it and dragging it to the left and to the right. You can lengthen it by using these brackets, close brackets or the open brackets. So the open brackets will denote the beginning of the subtitle. So if I move it here and I want my subtitle to start later, I click on this open brackets and it will shorten this. And if I were to move it at the beginning, it will lengthen it. But make sure you have to select this. Okay, so that's the way you adjust your subtitle. Now you notice one thing that when you type in your subtitle, it doesn't show up on screen. Uh, to do that, you need to select the menu and you can either burn in subtitles on, on output or generate text on the timeline. Now generate text on timeline will give you more option that you can make changes to the text. Once you do that, you can see the subtitle is visible on the screen and this is the text filter and you can make changes here. Now, typing in subtitles for your entire video is no fun and there are other tools that can do that. So one of the tools that I've mentioned in the past is called Gling AI. Uh, check out in the video in the description or somewhere uh, up here. You can watch that video later where uh, this software will actually do in all the subtitles and you can import it into Shortcut. Alright, I'm going to show you how to do that. To import subtitles is to import a .srt file. So I'm just going to select the menu, import from file. This sample they have created using Gling. This is the one. And you will see that shortcut has populated all these subtitles. You can edit the subtitle to make funny subtitles that you can see on some videos to make your videos more interesting. If you enjoyed this video and you want a faster ways to create uh, subtitles, you may want to check out my video to show you how to use OpenAI's Whisper AI to create speech-to-text or TurboScribe as well.